everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few things to share with you. This weekend just gone, me, my mum and my sister went up to Birmingham for a girls weekend and we visited the NEC to the craft, creative craft show. And we had the VIP tickets, we thought we'd treat ourselves. So we also got access to the cake show as well. And there was a Christmas kind of show as well, which was part of the craft show. So it was just a really nice day and we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves and we picked up a few bargains. So I will start off with, I'm just looking now across, uh, let's go for this. I'll show you, these are just kind of the things that you see me use all the time, but I picked them up because they're a bargain. So these I shared, you know, not uh, not too recent, what did I get actually? And it's the silicone foam tape. Now there's a seller there selling it for 99p a roll. So I picked up five rolls because it was just too good a bargain and I know how much I use it and I've saved myself, you know, quite a bit of money by buying it in bulk. So those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's the silicone foam tape. So it's what I use in shaker cards, but I really like it because it's clear. So you don't see it on the side. You can add on top of it as well to create even more dimension, but it's just really good stuff and it's super sticky as well. So it's it's the dot and dab range, it's available online so you can still buy it but the good thing about going to these craft shows is that a lot of stuff is brought in bulk and obviously sold at high volume so they can sell it very cheap. So we did get some bargains so like I said picked up those so I now with the two in front of me I've got plenty now to keep me going for some months so that was good. And then in here is the red liner tape. Now pretty much every seller there had this being sold. Some for 50p a roll, some for 99p a roll, some were doing deals where you brought 10 for, no you got 24 for £10 which is the Everycrafts a pound and then there was other people selling it for £2 a roll so there were, it was just everywhere. So we found the best deal and we got quite a few rolls so I've got a mixture of sizes but I pretty much got the ones that I wanted so I just got a load of this size here. You have to keep it between this kind of, um, it's like a wax paper to stop them sticking together. But this one is the, so that's the half inch and then I've got the quarter inch. They're the two that I always go to. The other one I really like is the very thick inch and a half I want to say it is. No, it would have been, no, it would be one inch. And that's also by the dot and dab range, that same one as the, the silicone foam. So they're the ones I go for. I couldn't find any of the one inch anywhere. So if they had had it, it, it sold out. But um, yeah, I'm pleased with those. Again, you buy them, when you buy a large quantity, you end up saving a lot more. So I've got about five rolls in front of me. So now I've got plenty again. These do last me a long time because I use this, you know, as well as my liquid glues. So that and the, the liquid glues that you see me use and my go-to adhesive. So again, that was really good and I'm pleased with that purchase. And then I'm just gonna start placing down, I think I got these bits all from one, the same stall. So I think that's everything. Now these, yes, I know you can go to the woods and you can just go and get them yourself, but do you know what? It's cold, it's muddy, and I don't want to. So they were a pound. There was a man actually that laughed. He was with his wife and he saw me with these. He said, I can't believe people are buying things that are free in the woods. And I was like, I know, but I am. So yeah, so it's just pine cones. And I brought this rose gold wreath, you know, circle, metal circle to make the wreath. So I have a ton of the candy cane coloured pipe cleaners. So I'm going to be using them with this. I've got a really nice idea for a wreath that I want to do. So I've got my Merry Christmas there, which has been laser cut with the wood, on the wood. So that's going to be my, you know, I'm going to have that position somewhere. And um, yeah, start thinking about how I'm going to create all of that, but I'm looking forward to doing that. So these are going to be covered as well. I've got an idea on how I want to decorate all of those. And then these I thought were really nice, they're glittered stars, but they've been cut from tree bark. So it's not until you look very closely, I'm not sure how well it's picking up. If I bring that one out there, you can kind of just make it out on the back, but because they've been painted and they've got a bit of sparkle on them, but you can just work it all out there. They're just really nice, really textured, and I thought they're going to work perfectly with all of this together. So that was from one stall. I can't remember the name of the stall. It was very busy. It had a lot of laser cut wood. So it had like little gingerbread houses, all kind of templates. So, you know, you, you build them and then decorate them. And I saw this and this was a pound. And I just thought, I really, I don't know. I just thought it would look really nice. I'm going to decorate it. And I'm just going to put it in my craft room. So I just, yeah, just liked it. So those were those bits there. Then I think this was what I got all from another store. So 
these well these can actually be very expensive with some of the some people that sell them on your shopping channels and just online in stores and things like that they are extremely dimensional and sparkly they're absolutely beautiful again these are just they're just this is how they come yeah this is just how the packaging is from china it's chinese on there what is you know the 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 shop as such i guess now it's got them all as being decorated on phones and charge banks and all kinds of bits and pieces but you would have seen me use these before and stamping up done one incredibly similar very very similar but all you got there was like that much for you know <laughs> it wasn't a pound put it that way but these were a pound each so i got that one there and then these ones here are more of like it's almost like broken glass so they're quite they're not sharp but they've, they're all like triangular on top faceted there's the word i'm looking for really really nice so i got those ones and then i got the same in these colors here and um, again just full of sparkle so the other ones that i have of these which i think i got from i'm going to say the pound shop i'm sure i went in there one day not too long ago a few months ago and they had them there it was either there or the range maybe it might have been the range actually but they were a pound but they went i used them all and i when you find something that cheap in a shop and you know that it can be sold at that price I always, I'm always then a little bit reluctant to pay any more so when I saw these for a pound and I'm kind of thinking I probably should have got a few more packs of these because they're something that I would use all year round they're perfect in the center of your flowers and just to finish off cards they look lovely as you know on, on your gift bags and things like that so yeah who knows but anyway I got those there and then I just I just saw the mirrored card stock and I thought hello I thought I would uh, yeah just get some more so it's just 10 sheets but it's very very thick this is more of a like I said this is a card I'm gonna guess it's about uh, maybe 250 yeah it is it's very it's very thick so I'll be able to make some nice um, you know actual boxes and things like that with it so that was that I also picked up these from that same shop where all the wood the laser cut wood pieces were these I these were really good. I'm sure these were 50p a pack and they're all the little toadstools. And again, you can use these all year round. They're perfect, obviously, for now, like the autumnal winter scenes, Christmas. I've got lots of little ideas to use them, but I just love little toadstools. I think they're super cute. I've got a few already, but I haven't got that many. And when they were this cheap, I thought I'm going to get them. And um, I know they get used a lot. So yeah, they're super, super sweet. You can see them all in there. Really well made as well. So there's no like odd bits on them and stuff. They're, uh, they're all complete. So they look really cute. Then I picked up these bits here from another shop. It was two for five pound. These were three pound for the set. They were in a another plastic wallet all together for three pound. And this was, yeah, that was it. They had every loads of things for three pound. So you could obviously buy them on their own. But if you brought two, you got them for five. So I got all of this for five pound. But I thought these were a bargain on their own for three pounds so a pound each i thought they're lovely they are the original ones the the raymond briggs snowman you know how much i love the father christmas so to see these ones i was like i have to have them so they're really really beautiful images love obviously the classic flying snowman scene this one here and there he is there on the motorbike so you've got your three kind of iconic images there i guess from the movie and then you've just got all the extras as well which are really nice love that tree again you know how much i love to color so i'm really looking forward to to using them and creating some really nice little cards and then these were just i thought really nice ribbons and there's a lot on there you can see let me take these ones out because i haven't had a look myself so i mean they've got create and craft all around them so maybe it was the create but it, i don't know was it near create? it wasn't because create and craft had another section so maybe they had other little stores i don't know but yeah you can see there's a lot on each one so maybe three meters four meters something like that this, this one's got let it snow all over it this one's got tis the season this one's just a really nice thin fabric with that orange woven on the ends and then this one says noel and this one again says let it snow just thought they were quite nice so they go on gift bags and a lot of these will be are useful when i'm actually wrapping presents because i do like to do all nice fancy ribbons and things so i picked up those and then I picked up all of this. I do have the Christmas trees, not these exact ones, I don't think. But I, I use them a lot and um, I really just, I just think they're so cute. So again, when you can find them cheap. This I got from Every Cross a Pound. So obviously it's in the name, everything was a pound. But if you brought 10 items, no, sorry, if you got 12 items, you paid £10. So I really like these. These are all wooden and I hadn't seen these before. So that you've got the kind of the white, the blue and the silver. And you get 
I think it's about three or four of each. So it's 12 in, oh, three, six, nine. Tw yeah, so there must be four of each. So you get 12 pieces. And then this one here, you get 18 of those beautiful little wooden silver angels. These are lovely and big. I have gold ones, but um, I don't have silver. And these again are wooden, so really nice. And you get 12 in there. Although it looks like there's a lot more. My eyes deceive me. But no, I think it is twist 12. Then I got these, I've got the gold and I have some red berries, but I, again, I want more for my wreath. So I got these two packs here. And then I also liked these ones as well. So I combined those. And then also I got these two. Now I know I've already been using these and <laughs> it's very rare that I ever, ever buy a paper pad twice. I actually can't remember the last time I did, but these were the only two they had the day before they put a picture up and it had all of the collection, but it was gone by the time I got there. But I did, I'm glad that two of my favorites were still there. So Cozy Christmas and Magical Stories, a pound each. That's the best bargain. I've seen them for 2 99 at the range. So to get them for 99p, again, that's because it was from every craft a pound. They buy in a huge bulk and they're at the craft show, so they know it's gonna sell. You know how much I've made. I've made a lot with this already and I love it. So I did want to get some more because I still want to create some more things this Christmas along with the magical stories as well. I want, it's mainly gift bags really. I've done a lot of 3D and card making with this but I would like to do some nice gift bags. So that's why I've picked those two up along with those bits there. So what was that? Was that my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? I'm just looking, what else did I get there? Oh, twelve. They were my 12 items and this all cost me £10. Um, these are old. The Make-A-Wish Dovecraft collection has been out a while, but I never had them and they're wooden presents. And again, they're just going to look nice on the, you know, just to finish off the front of a card to have on a gift bag and things like that. I just really, really like them. So I got them as well. And then this wasn't from the craft show. This was when we done some shopping on, on, the other day, on one of our other days in Birmingham. And this is pylon now if you've seen my ring that i wear which is the white square with the liquid it's from the same company and i purchased that one when i went to berlin and i'd never seen a store since and then when i saw this one i was like oh my god i have to go in there and they had these and they are brilliant so this one here is full of beads so i thought that's quite you know fitting considering i like to craft and they all shake and it's all encased in this glass dome. So this was the largest one. You can see on the side it says pylon. And I love it. So I treated myself to this ring and I absolutely adore it. So yeah, so I got that one. And then in the Christmas section of the show, they had a lady, she was selling a lot of ex John Lewis and Debenhams stock. So it was all jewelry, but I saw these two. So these were five pound each. So I got this one here, which inside, it's like a plastic resin over the top, but inside there is gold, like foiling, gold leaf, faux gold leaf, and a, like a little gemstone right in the middle there. You can see it kind of catches. Just thought it was really unusual. So it's all there, it's all like a plastic, and um, it fits on that finger really nicely. So I love that one. And then this one here reminds me of Jackie Brazil. You'll see me wear that square one with all the stripes. So that is a Jackie Brazil one, but this one here, I couldn't see any markings inside. So I think it's just another similar version, but I just really like that one as well. And uh, yeah, you can see how it looks there. It's got quite a cool look. So, you know, I love my rings and I needed some new ones. Well, I always like new ones, it doesn't matter. So my collection is always growing and I never get rid of them. So that's what I got there. Let me put that one back on. I love it. It's just so fun. Oh, then I grabbed, I can't remember where this one was. It was probably in amongst some of those other, there were so many places selling a lot of, you know, brands. So Simply Creative, was, there were so many stores selling bits of Simply Creative. There was, you know, selling lots of do craft stuff. So, but I know I've already got advent numbers and I've already, I'm already using them for this year's advent, but I just really liked them. And I just thought if I've got any birthday cards I need to do, obviously anybody that's under the age of 25, but I just really liked them. And I thought they're handy. They're a really nice kind of gold color. They're not like a real yellowy gold. Um, and yeah, and I thought that was quite nice. I might use that this year. I quite like that one as well, but I got that. And then I picked this one up purely because I like the large hashtag. Hashtag is used on everything now, so I thought it'd look quite good on a card saying like hashtag happy birthday, hashtag your fab. And it's just a really nice size along with all these other ones here as well. So I thought they'd come in handy. I've never heard of duo dies. Punctuation this is. I got this at Creating Craft, it was two pound. And it's just, yeah, it's just something that I think is really quite handy to have. So yeah, I picked it up. 
Then I saw this being demoed from, I guess the store was called Multipom, I didn't look up, but it, that's all it was there, it was all this brand. But it was so busy, I couldn't see. And then it was about half past four and the show finished at five. And I just thought I'd go and have a walk around. My sister and my mum, I left them in the VIP bit, drinking some tea. And I had a little wander around and I saw that it was quite quiet. So there was only a couple of us watching and the lady done a demo again. And I love pom-poms, really, really do. I have the pom-pom makers. And obviously we all know how to make them with your cardboard ring. But they can take some time. Even with the pom-pom maker, you have to wrap it around. Now I know we are memory keepers. They have that twisted tool now that you can put batteries in and it does it all electronically. But there's obviously a price with that. So I thought I would go for this. And when I watched the demo, I thought it's such a simple process, but such a clever idea. I will share it in a tutorial because I think some of you might like it because I will certainly be using these to make little dangles for my mini albums. I like to make bunting in my craft room. I also use them on my interiors, so on cushions and things like that. But this is all it is. So it's literally this rectangle, rectangular piece of metal. But what the lady done, and there's full instructions in there and you'll be able to find this online, but you wrap, depending on how many pom-poms you want to make at a time, you'll get the most if you go this way. But you wrap your yarn, your wool around here I think she said about 16 times to start with for this particular size and then you pop it this way and you tie off sections and then you make sure they're all the right kind of length, tie them really tight and then you cut in between each one and you have your pom-pom. Obviously you just have to kind of, you know, fluff it up a bit and maybe reshape it but that's what you will make that size if you do, you get 16 that way or if you want them thicker you wrap even more around and then you just tie off maybe one there and there and you'll get two big pom-poms or you just tie it off once and you can get again larger again and then you can do it this way as well and there's loads of other things that you can do with this it's just I just thought it was great it takes up no room I can make pom-poms really 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 fast and I loved it so they had so much inspiration I love that necklace I'm going to try and do something like that with these size here and you can see look at that lovely like throw across the bed and like I said, all the instructions are inside there. It's called Multipom, www.multipom.com. Loved it. So yeah, so I'm gonna be making pom-poms. I'm gonna have them everywhere. <laughs> and then I treated myself. The great thing about going to the craft shows is that you have all of your, or just loads of your favorite brands under one roof and you don't have to pay postage. So Hobby Art, I've seen them on, well, it's either Create and Craft or Hachanda. I can't remember which channel. And uh, the lady was there demoing, who I've seen demo, it's her business, and she was there with her son, and her daughter also does a lot of the designing, and comes up with a lot of the ideas, and I saw these, and she'd made some absolutely amazing samples, the cards were just phenomenal, and I just thought, I need to have this stamp set, so this is, what's this one actually called, do they have a name for this set? It's just called Christmas Green Things. And it's your Brussels sprouts. So I know that it's, you know, there's this big kind of you love or you hate Brussels sprouts, but they have so many fun things on this. So you, obviously you have your Brussels sprouts here, all the different ones. You've got the fork there with the Brussels sprouts, but it's all the little set, um, sentiments that I love that they put with them. So you've got no sprout about it. I'd eat one for you. Christmas green things from the bunch of us. Then you have a little tick box here where it says yummy or yuck. And then you've got here, you've got this little kind of puff of air, which could be, it was funny actually, I wish I, I forgot the lady's name, but it's, she said that if anybody is offended by this, obviously it's meant to look like you farted, okay, or puffed or blown off or however you want to say it, there's, I know everybody's got a word for it, but yeah, farted, and which she said if anyone's offended, it could be a little floret, um, like a broccoli or a, um, cauliflower floret if you turn it that way I thought it was quite funny anyway there's the little Santa's hat you have little arms here with like a thumbs up so these are their arms which you can have coming out of them they've also got their legs you can turn them into baubles so this is the the bauble top there which I thought was just brilliant and then they've got little kind of your Christmas cracker hats there as well mini little sprouts and you've got some holly so you could have the sprouts as like kind of berries, you know, do it like that kind of effect. You've all, you could also turn them into little Christmas puddings. So there's the icing with the holly on top. And then you've got the actual sprouts on their, well, their root, I guess. And then there's also some champagne. But to go with it, I got this one. So this is Do Not Open Until Christmas, but on here 
it has the caution and the tape and she used one well, one of the cards or a few of them they used the caution tape and they coloured it in the yellow and the black and they put it across like the sprouts and it just again looked really really good because I've got some family members that cannot absolutely stand sprouts they can't stand the smell of them I actually don't really like them I don't have them I don't detest them I like them if they're made a certain way like sometimes I like them like dipped in like a really nice like cheesy sauce or if they're cooked with like bacon and maybe I have other things with them to disguise the flavour but on their own I don't like them I find them way too bitter and too strong but I thought with this it's just going to make some great cards and then they've also got watch out sprouts are about and that obviously works great with this you then got bubble and squeaks you can do some fun things with that but the main reason really that because I actually picked this up before I really saw this one because on here it says from your favourite child now some people might think that's really quite cruel I my kind of personality and our sense of humor in our family we use this a lot my mum uses it with her sister with her mum me and my sister use it with mum so if I've been out with mum on my own for the day I might turn around jokingly and say to her I'm your favorite child aren't I and she'll go you can't ask me that I can't answer that um so that is what I'm gonna have inside my card this year from your favorite child it's just brilliant and I know some of my friends will probably if I tell them I have this they will want me to put it in there inside theirs as well it's brilliant and again when I was talking to the lady she said that when they first decided to put this in she was unsure she thought no people are going to be really offended they're not going to like it and she said so many people say that they do the same thing it's all light-hearted fun it's all a bit just tongue-in-cheek and I said I think you've done you've, you've just done really well with it so yeah do it so yeah if you don't like that then don't buy it but <laughs> that's what it is and then you've got your your good old do not open until Christmas tis the season to sparkle so yeah, I treated myself, that was $14.99, this was $10.99. They're photopolymer, they're original, you can't get them anywhere else, only at Hobby Art. And I just think that's brilliant. So I don't mind supporting a you know family-run business, that's what it's all about for me. So well done, at Hobby Art, I love them. And then this was part of, because we had the VIP ticket, we had access to the VIP kind of area where we could have unlimited bag drop, we could leave our coats, everything for free. We had a pastry, we had unlimited teas all day and soft drinks. You could sit down, they had sofas. It was just really nice that like every maybe like hour and a half we would go there and just chill for like 15, 20 minutes, have a cup of tea, drop off bags. And so it was really nice to have that and I would definitely always get that for that extra price because you, I think you had to pay like £2 to put your coat away. There was a long queue because when we first came in there was tons of people queuing to do that and then there was people sitting on the floor to eat like their lunches and stuff like that whereas people had brought lunch and they were eating it in the VIP room. So, you know, take it for what it is. It, you know, if you're happy to do that side of thing then that's totally fine. I've done it at other shows before. But I just, yeah, I thought it was brilliant. I'm glad we did. But anyway, on, also on top of that, we got a goodie bag. And Molly makes goodie bags. So we had vouchers in there. And we did use a couple of them for different things. Um, but then you got this magazine, which was a back copy from September. And this one was Make Cards Today. It's actually quite sweet. I've had this magazine before. But inside there is this stamp set here. And I actually really like these ones here. I think they're really, really cute. These ones, yep, yeah, they're nice as well. That one could certainly be used, obviously, you know, in your Christmas kind of cards. I don't have any flying geese, so that's a handy little stamp. And these are a little bit different as well. They remind me more of like an Asian style kind of like bamboo or something. And then this here is like a thistle. So you've got festive greetings for a special friend. So yeah, they're nice, I do like them, but these are my favorites because they're so easy to color and they're easy to cut out. And then you've also got two embossing folders there I, mm, I don't tend to ever really use them and then you've just got some card blanks they look like they're five by five no I think they're the envelopes and then you've got your five by five um card blanks there and then you get the magazine so I'll have a good old read of that and then you've got these here so you can decoupage all these so I'll cut these on my machine and um and get all these cut and I've got like a drawer where I keep these things so if I just need anything really quick or someone needs something like a tag or something they're always handy but I'm not sure I'm not a massive fan of coated papers so we'll see they they are sweet I'll probably I will make up the cards things like that we'll probably end up donating to um you know a local charity or something but these are really good I actually quite like the the monsters there I think they're sweet and then there's the the fox but obviously they've got that all geared around 
now for you know Halloween and for Thanksgiving and autumnal cards um, but you just you know do the balloons and stuff and it's going to make really nice birthday cards the papers are nice I do like some of these backgrounds again they are coated I probably would get away with those they're not so bad see that's really cool just missed it really now but I'll keep things like that for next year because they're always quite handy and then um, see these aren't these aren't coated these ones this is better I prefer this I like that. That gingham will get used. That things like this that I know I would use a lot on cards. I would keep, but yeah, see that's really really shiny. It's not so bad on the tags, but on the papers, see that's not so shiny. I prefer that that feel to it. Am I the only one? I don't know. That's uh, just about maybe with that. Anyway, I'm being really fussy, but um, it's still a really nice paper pad. Love the stripes. That one would get used as uh, well as <laughs> as well as that. So I will pull all this out, cut them down, and I'll put them with my other kind of loose pattern papers, things that I get in magazines and stuff. Because it's surprising, actually. You do go to them quite a lot, but these images are really cute. So I probably will. I'll just get my machine to quickly cut those out and make up some fast cards. And um, yeah, they're, they're done and dusted then, aren't they? But yeah, sweet nonetheless. And obviously it was all part of our ticket price. So, And then this here is really cute. Um, mini avocado. And um, you can create that little key ring. I really like it. These are things that I do sometimes when I just sit down in the evening, you know, put your feet up. And then you can make these little bits here, but I will need to learn because this is this is some knitting, isn't it? Cotton yarn, thread, crochet. Oh no, crochet. That's it. Of course it is. I can kind of do it. I need to really focus, so we'll see. But I will do it. I will make that because I think he's really sweet. And then I met up with the lovely, I want to say, I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, Swati, Swati. And you're a beautiful lady. You are so, so lovely. We had a chat and um, it was just so nice meeting you and your friend. And we were chatting away and we were just, yeah, just having a giggle. We were in the create and craft section because they'd actually had a workshop. And um, yeah, just talking about crafting and just general chit chat about life, things like this. And they've come to the show. It's their seventh year running. So one had come from India and the other had come from Dubai so these are dedicated crafters and um, yeah they were thoroughly enjoying they were doing all four days lots of you know craft shows lots of make and takes and um, anyway we were chatting away and then she had a little gift for me so she brought me this absolutely beautiful look it has pom-poms this bag which I ended up using towards the later part of the day because I needed the space I needed something I'd already had you know a couple of other bags but I used this to fill up and it's just such a nice size it's beautiful it's got little mirrors in it you can see the mirror detail all of this gold thread that's been stitched through and you've got this in the middle again with the mirrors and then you've got all the pom-poms around here you've got a zip there and you've got another zip inside there as well and it's so big it is absolutely huge this bag I was so surprised with how much it you know it held also had a big bag of dates but I've already started munching through those so and they're delicious so thank you again for those and then I got this beautiful little trinket box look how sweet this is it's, it's like a it's a stone it's a white stone I don't, I don't know what stone but it's beautiful and in, in you know actually kind of set in the stone it's got little bits of like shell you can see there that kind of catches the light really nice really pretty little piece and I'm looking around at things that I need to put in there and I have these still my little drops and they might go in there actually look at that it is perfect and the lid goes on so it will hold all my little water drops and that will sit on my little shelf that I've got in front of me here you can just about hear them there oh I've got a few more in there they're fit in there as well anyway so yeah absolutely beautiful and then she got me this ring so let me take this one off it's gorgeous really really pretty I tried it on earlier and it is adjustable but you can see there look at all the sparkle in it so so pretty really really lovely I was so I had a big smile on my face and it's always nice to 
you know meet other you know other people that just enjoy the things that you enjoy and um, it was just such a pleasure to meet you and who knows if I'm there again next year our paths will cross again and we can have a longer chat this time and sit down have over a cup of tea or something that would be nice so yeah it was really really nice to meet you and again thank you so much for these absolutely gorgeous gifts they will this will always be there in front of me the ring you're going to see because I wear it in my videos and the bag will be used quite a lot because I love it because it has pom-poms on it <laughs> so thank you so much that's some of the stuff I can't get it all in because it's just too much but once you take all the packaging off it's surprising how much everything shrinks down but I'm going to get all my stamps filed away you are going to see some fun tutorials coming up with these ones here and the the snowman absolutely love those gift bags with this all of this is going to be used within my wreath and more of my 3d projects and I'll be decorating all this up and I might show a little picture of that if I do it or well, when I do it because I will do it and then obviously the pom-pom maker if that's most of the stuff here that you can see anyway thank you for watching i hope you like this one because i know lots of you like to see what i've got i will try and link as much as i can because i think i think there would be places online that will have a lot of this the snowman i'm not too sure about but i will have a go and uh, yeah please hit the like button if you enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more of these kind of things but obviously all of my tutorials where you will see this stuff actually get used so thank you for watching once again and i'll be back again soon with another tutorial see you soon bye